Well, hello there, Coffee Time friends. How y'all doing? It is Monday night. Welcome to Coffee Time. Woo! Mama just stepped through there. She'll be right back. She's going to turn off the TV. Mama was watching something. We went live. You know, you hear a TV so much you don't even hear it. Do you ever do that? Tonight is just the same old, same old for us. We're having... Mama, tell them what we're having. Uh, just meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and peas. <laughs> Simple, simple. Y'all knew what we was having when she said meatloaf. We always have pe peas and um, just buttered English peas and um, mashed potatoes. So, Mama's still got the meatloaf done, though. And we're I'm quartering up some potatoes right here. Dicing up some just to make some mashed potatoes. Yeah. And we're going to have some peas. And that's it, isn't it, Mama? Yeah. Mama, won't you sit down a minute and take it easy? Well, I'm going to put these potatoes up that I had out. Mama peeled these. I just came in and started slicing. Sit down and started slicing. Started dicing. Dicing and slicing. So what are y'all having? I hope it's something really exciting. Something interesting. We love this meal. I did make Creole sauce for it today. Y'all have seen us do meatloaf and Creole sauce, meatloaf and ketchup, meatloaf fried. Y'all have seen meatloaf every way we've ever had it. Um... Let's see if I can tilt you all somewhere. There, that's good. Well, you're crooked. Everything's not lining up. Okay. <laughs> um, we've had the Creole sauce is just a can of tomato sauce, a half a can of tomato paste. And then I just uh, finely diced up a an onion. You can use any kind of onion you want. And I am uh, did uh, two ribs of celery, and I finally diced those, put those in there, put a um, quarter of a cup of brown sugar, you can use less or you can use substitute if you want, and then I put a shake shake, literally, of Worcestershire, and, um, what was that? Oh, uh, uh, just a, a dab dab of mustard, and that's just like a dime size amount. And that was the Creole sauce, and we love it. And then... You put, uh, did you put spices in it? Mm -mm. Nope. Yeah. It's shake, shake of salt. Mm -hmm. And that was it, folks. That was all it was. And Mama has got it on the stove. She cooked it for... It didn't have to, have to be cooked that long. But it thickens it, and it makes all those flavors, and those onions, and the celery, they just they get I so just tender. Simmer, simmer it on real low. How long did you cook? About an hour and a half? Oh, no, no. Don't have to cook it that long, but I'm talking about just simmer. Uh, just let it, bring it to a bowl, turn it off, or put it on low, low until you get ready to eat. That's basically it, isn't it, Mama? Mm -hmm. Mama, there's, well, there's one that's hiding out down there in the bottom. And they'll do that sometimes. Sneak around, don't We're not to. doing many potatoes. You can see these are not very big potatoes at all. These are kind of like the bottom of the bag worth of potatoes, isn't it? Yeah, trying to get them all used up. I'm going to dig what I've got down there. So. Going to dig them? Well, if it ever... How many did you, you didn't have many hills, did you? No, uh -uh, but I'm going to get those and get those to eat before they... Now, get. when you start your potatoes, start them in cold water. I know it seems like I'm putting it on the stove to get it hot. But if you start them in hot water, it releases those starches and it makes your potatoes tougher. So start them in cold water. Unless you like tough potatoes. It's up to you. And I've got another hard job to do here. Terribly, terribly hard. I've got to open up some sweet peas. This is the easy, simple supper, folks. It's delicious. Mama made the meatloaf. Get what time did you make it to Mom about lunch? Yeah, a little after She made it earlier today, so it'd be ready. I've been working late, so when I work late, we don't have a whole lot of time to do prep and everything. So basically, that's what we do. And um, it's Monday. Monday. Time to recover from the whole weekend. The weekend was so short, and I, I can't remember what we had yesterday, Mama. Can you? What were we have for lunch? Oh, uh, beef <laughs> Me and Mama both, oh, I can't remember. Yeah, we had my favorite, Southwestern chopped beef steak. Roast beef. Roast beef. Yeah. 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 Roast
house did potatoes and squash together. And, uh, Somebody will be asking about this. This is just our Tupperware can opener. It has this wonderful handle on it. Uh, it's good for arthritis. It's good for just trying to get these can lids off. Yeah, they do not um, cut. They just unseal. There's no sharp edges on there. It just unseals it. And there's no sharp edges here either. It's all just unsealed. This is just a Tupperware dish that is um, event and serve. And you can cook in them. I love them because, you see it holds, you could put two cans of peas in there, I'm sure. But you put your... Um, dish in there like with this with peas uh, straight out of the can and I'm gonna put a little bit of butter in here just a little this is so, pre-softened butter we keep it next to the stove over there to use for cooking or for adding to dishes I'm gonna put about a, not even a whole tablespoon about a half a tablespoon of butter in there and I'm gonna put a shake shake of salt in there and that's it and then put the lid on it put it in the microwave with the vent open and it'll be done and the mashed potatoes will be done and the meatloaf's already done and the creole sauce is already done guess what folks it'll be eating time in just a little while and that's why we like it quick and easy i think it is mom can we put it on there see these have got a vent in them so we just pull that up and cook and uh, it allows your stuff the steam just come out and then when you get ready to store you just push it back down airtight storage there it is cooking serving freezing a lot of people ask about tupperware is can you put it in the microwave a lot of things are not for microwave a lot of things are served only but if anything has a vent on it it's for the microwave click pull that up those will take approximately three minutes at that to do to cook and of course we're going to have some good old coffee and chit chat so what are you all up to what are you cooking let's see if i can read your all's comments uh hi john and mama hello there uh, glinda how are you tonight you're from is it Cheatham, Illinois? Uh, hey, Jennifer. We had goulash. Oh, Jennifer. I love goulash. Uh, I love the vent and seal. Yeah, Terry, they are good. The vent and serves are wonderful. Uh, I love peas, too, Ellen. They are, peas have always been one of my favorite things. Uh, and I even like peas left over, warmed up, and all that good stuff. We love sweet peas. Yeah, we do, too. Uh, going to make peach jam. Mm. Mama said, hmm, Naomi, that sounds good. Uh, good evening, John and Mama. Please pray for me. I, I have frozen. You have frozen? I'm not sure what Deanna will we'll, we'll say a prayer for you, whatever's going on with you there. We will be continuing to pray for those folks in Kentucky. Um, I posted yesterday the number. For the um, where you can order the farm supplies, uh, Pruitt's Farm Supply. They do have a Facebook page if you want to go visit them as well. And I think I have the number handy here. <clears throat> I did see uh, Leslie today. And they're doing another run Wednesday, weather permitting. It's Pruitt Farm Supply. And the number is 606 549 5342. Just tell them that you want to order whatever you want to order um, for the animals or uh, I don't know if they have water there or not. Not sure about that one. Um, but you can order whatever you want to for the animals. And uh, Leslie um, Baker Cook is the Cook Baker. Leslie Cook is the name and she'll be picking it up and they pick it up and take it to Kentucky. She's told about the stories of the people who uh, they've helped and everything it's just wonderful um i brought this in <clears throat> last week for last it needs water right now mama what was this this is basil. basil and what happened was you know basil if you don't cut it you don't cut your herbs the best thing for herbs is to use them so i cut these the tops off brought them in 
we were going to use them for some meal. Yeah, I don't know what it's going to do with them. Nothing. But anyhow, look what they've done. This is just in a clear glass, and look, they've rooted. So you could plant those and start new basil. I mean, they're they're ready to plant. Look at them. Oh, yeah. They are rooted, 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 and that's. But they are pretty to sit on the counter, just like that. Um, but that's basil. If your herbs get too big, then they don't produce. They'll get tough, and they won't be as good. So you want to keep cutting them. Mm, that smells good. Mama, did we plant mint this year? I've got some that come up from last year. I didn't plant any. Okay. It's out there on the end of the... Mm, that basil smells good. We'll have to wonder how it'd be fixed. Tomato. Tomato basil soup. Yeah, chop it. Well, Mama, it would be fine. just delicious. Chop it off. Like a of can of, tom of, of Campbell's, or you might call homemade tomato soup? Well... I'd go with a can of camels and try it. Mama, you're not even in the camera. No, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Mama, what have you done today? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. I found that hard to believe, Mama. Done laundry. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew you'd done something. Meatloaf. Laundry, supper. You been to the garden, Mama? No. Did you get any rain? Yeah, we had it last night. I mean, this is today. No, I don't believe it's rained. It's so okay. dark. Uh, we it's had too some early. wind earlier that kind of looked like it could turn into rain. Yeah. But I don't think it did. And it's a bit looking dark out there now. And you can yeah. see out there. I know southeastern Kentucky is supposed to get rain today and tomorrow. So continue to pray well, for this. Well, they don't need it. No. Bless them. The more I hear the stories, it's just heartbreaking. Yeah, I'm going to check on these potatoes. Gonna stir them. They ain't bold yet, have them all. No, they're starting to. I'm just gonna. I think I've got a little too much water. Mama's on the go today. I can tell uh, when I come in if Mama is in a a tear or not. Oh, you got an animal in here. An uh, animal? A gnat or something just flew. <laughs> it's not a fly. Are y'all having trouble with gnats? I have caught gnats. Ever since I told y'all about that gnat trap, I think the word got out. They just wanted to try and see it. There it went. Yeah. And uh, we've had peaches, fruit. We've had bananas. Well, and... there's peaches and bananas and apples and tomatoes. Yeah. All over right now. And oranges. And um, if you have fruit, you're going to have fruit flies or gnats, whatever you want to call them. We call them gnats. They're all gnats to me. I've not seen fruit flies. I've seen well, gnats. I don't know. Somebody told me the other night these were not gnats. They were fruit flies. Oh, wow. Well. Whatever. Well, fruit flies was a little bigger. All them that we've caught. I thought fruit now. flies had wings. It, they do, like flies. Ours don't have. Ours has wings. But you can't see them. They just look like little black specks when they're on something. We did have a many of them. I don't know. I think they come in on a load of bananas we had. And <laughs> or something. Uh, and I caught a bunch of them. And then now we've got two or three pesky ones running around here. Just pesky little boogers. You know, I got them in my bathroom one year. And they were in the sink. And every time I'd go in there and turn the lights on, there'd be a gnat on the sink. Well, I'd chase it down, kill it, and then I'd go back and there'd be another gnat on the sink. I didn't know that gnats would lay eggs in drains. Ugh. So they were evidently in the drain of the sink. You'd think it'd wash them away, but it didn't. So I sprayed a little Clorox in there, and then we had no more gnats, but... They were in the main drain. They were in the overflow drain. Well, that must be the only one. I just seen one, Mama. Outgoing Mama's because after him. this bowl has got a lot of them. Mama's after him. Mama won't take any kind of beast in the house. Except Maggie. She's the queen. <laughs> Mama just looked at me. She's, she's if you want to see Mama get in the high gear, let a fly come through. There'll be no rest till the fly is gone.
either out the door or a window. Mama's fair. She'll open the door for them to go out. But if she, if they won't go, you're fair, aren't you, Mama? I try to be, but I try to get them. She tries to get them, but if she can, she'll say, get out of here and open the window but, or the door. But Mama, I'm looking forward to that meatloaf. I don't care if we have meatloaf every week. I look forward to it. That net, come it? out of there. Mm -hmm. I don't care if we have meatloaf every week. I look forward to it. Hand that over here, Mama. Are you going to heat it some more? It's not cold, though. It was... no, it's not. I'll show y'all the meatloaf for the Creole sauce. These potatoes won't take long because we cut them up, diced them, and they won't take long. This is the meatloaf with the Creole sauce on it. Look at that, folks. That looks just like downtown. Um, that's the Creole sauce. It's thick, it's rich, it's delicious. It's got the, not the, I should say peppers. No, 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 we don't do peppers. It's got the, um, celery and Thank onions. you, Mama. Celery, onions, the meat, the, the, Mama said the rest of it. <sighs> got Worcestershire sauce, yes, salt, mustard, brown sugar, Tomato sauce and tomato paste. Very good, Mama. You've got every one of them without saying the wrong thing. I tried to say the wrong thing three times. Oh, and here, this is the little saucepan we made it in. In case you want a little extra once you cut it, because sometimes that happens, you know. And the peas will be done momentarily. Yeah, they don't take long. They just really need to be heated. Mama, you know what I was thinking the other day? I don't know why I thought of it. I do know why I thought of it. Uh, you was making the macaroni salad. Mm -hmm. I would love to have some pea salad. Pea salad. You got ghosts in? I think there's a ghost in here, Mama. Maggie might have run through here. I heard something. You can see if those are down. Mm, I'm sure they are, Mama. Look here. These peas, look here, I'm going to take this lid off. You're supposed to take the lid off away from you always. Remember that. Look at that steaming hot peas. Good old sweet peas. I'm going to leave that on there. Let it stay warmer. You want to hold this For the peas, yeah. They're, they, got the, they got the water in them. Um, it could be in the dishwasher. No, cleaned out the dishwasher. Oh, you cleaned out the dishwasher. Look at you. Is it hard for y'all to get your dishwashers unloaded? I need to, if I ever build a new house, a brand new house from scratch, I'd like to have two dishwashers. Or, they make them now that's got an upper and a lower. I don't know if it's going to clean or dirty. You know, you just need like where you run the dishwasher and it's in there, and then I know when you can load till you get that weather one unloaded. I know that's lazy, isn't it? but sometimes it's hard to get the dishwasher unloaded. It's kind of like folding the clothes. You can get them washed, but you really got to make that diligent effort to get them folded. Do y'all have that problem? I don't. I fold mine right out of the dryer. Mama don't. Mama don't have any problem with that. She folds hers as she's standing at the dryer. We have a table in there. I fold them just th right then, or I don't. She does. I don't like she, to wad them up. I like to get them hot. She hangs but... shirts up out of the dryer, straight out of the dryer. She picks a towel out of the She don't use a clothes basket. She takes them out of the dryer, folds them, puts them on the table. Washcloth, folds it, puts it on the table. Mama's like that. I don't like to put them in a the dryer. Or they get all wadded. I like them space hot while they're out of the dryer. We had a dryer. This is a true story. This tea, Mama. We had a dryer in it. Um, the door, you know, when you open the door, they stop. Well, this one's, this one wouldn't work. So when you open the door, it kept tumbling. Mama <laughs> loved that thing. <laughs> and Dad had somebody come over and work on the washer of the dryer. Put a belt or something on it. And he says, see if you can do something that door. <laughs> He fixed her door. 
She was mad as fire. She said, no, I, I wasn't like really that. really mad, but I was a little upset. Why, of all the things you could have left alone, why didn't you leave that alone? She said, <laughs> I love that. She wanted that tumbler to tumble while she was folding them. Mama, do you remember that? It is good. She'll restart the dryer and let it flop, and then she'll take out three or four pieces and restart it. Let them flop. Do y'all do that? Does anybody else do that? Let me see if I can see your comments. Just if you hopped on here tonight thinking you was going to watch us make meatloaf, Mama wants you to tell them what you did, how you fixed your meatloaf while the potatoes are finishing up. All I did was... Hamburger soup. Connie, that sounds good. Uh got my ground chuck and my, I put two eggs in it. I put some saltine crackers, about a fourth of a tube, and some, a piece of light bread, ketchup, salt and pepper, and just a dash or two of that steak season to give it some different flavor. Steak or Worcestershire? Steak. Steak uh, season. What kind of, oh, steak season? Yeah, the sprinkles. Oh, that, that we use on top. Okay. Yeah. And what else did I do? Onions. Put my onions in it. Ketchup. I put ketchup inside of it to soften the bread. And the did you put bread? Bread and crackers. Mm -hmm. And two eggs. Onions. Please Sorry. show your faces, Carol. We try to. Your face ain't in there. It, i tell you the problem. It's just a little camera. A little phone. We just use a phone. We don't have a camera system or anything. We don't have a wide angle, nothing. I'm going to try one night, if y'all will bear with me. I'm going to try to film horizontal. A lot of play, a lot of people do that. I did it one time, and you all did not like it. Said it put it up at the top in a little box. Well, if you flip your phone, it'll make it the whole phone. But a lot of you all like it, I guess is it YouTube that films this direction up and down so that's the reason we have it that's the reason I have to sling the camera back and forth and a lot of times we don't have it pointed exactly where you all want it to be pointed because I forget you don't need tea and it's oh I can't do tea tonight Mom. I'm just gonna oh, do this okay. coffee I don't know tea, tea caffeine is harder on me than coffee caffeine yeah. and uh, so that's the reason it's it's hard to get and that's Mama. Somebody said the other night, Mama didn't have enough room to eat. She just had a tiny little spot at the table. That's just for the video. Mama sits over there. She has that whole end. She's the reigning queen, right there. That whole width of that. And Mama's a little lady, so normally she eats over there. She only eats here, uh, so you can see both of us. This is where I normally sit. Um, but uh, Mama don't normally sit on this corner. And most of the time when we quit filming, if we're still eating, Mama will take her plate and go back to her place. Don't you, Mama? Yeah. <laughs> so when you're filming, things change a little bit. you got things you want to consider. But that's just what it is. So we want to get you all on here. We, they make a thing, a camera holder, that will follow you around. I don't know how that would work here, because it would be following Mama, and you all would be seasick. You all would have motion sickness, because if she makes one trip, she makes 15 trips. In fact, when they put this flooring down, I told them, I said, you'll need to come back probably in a couple of years and replace this kitchen. They said, why? And I said, she'll wear it out. There'll be big ruts in it. You won't be able to stand up, because she'll have it wore where her little, where her little feet go. I do remember my memo. This is a childhood memory. Why do we have childhood memories? I don't know. Like this. Uh, and maybe a, uh, maybe the other grandkids didn't even notice it. I don't know. She had one of those old timey metal tables with the formica tops. Had the red chairs. You know those. Uh, and around the corner here is where she made everything on her kitchen table she didn't have a counter all she had was one of those old um, um, Hoover cabinets the ones with the flower in it and the drawers she didn't she didn't change anything when I was a kid she had a pump in her kitchen 
that she would pump the water out of the well. And we would pump the handle, and it was a red, and it came out, of, and you'd pump two or three times, and water would shoot out. She boiled her water. She, she didn't upgrade stuff like that. And I remember, um, as I became an adult, noticing that the, you all remember linoleum, uh, the linoleum on her floor was always well kept and looked great, except one spot, right here on the corner where she had stood for years and made biscuits and pies and all those things. And to me, that was just so special to know that right there's where Mama had been all those times. I remember uh, I spent the, um, the night with her one time, me and my cousin, and uh, she said, come on, boys, I'm going to make some breakfast. Y'all get up. And it was early. Um, <laughs> real early. And um, she poured pulled out, I don't know if y'all know what I'm talking about, but those old cabinets, they had a drawer in the bottom of it that was solid metal and people kept flattering it. And at the top was something and they sifted it. Was a it fl sifter. I don't know. All the, I mean, it had a roll top and then it had a, 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 a white countertop. And it pulled out and you could push it in. Don't they call those the Hoover, Hoover cabinets? She... I guess y'all have seen other people do it. We don't do it, but a lot of people have a flower bowl or uh, something like that, and they <coughs> they will make a divot in it, pour their milk in it, and mi uh, mix their dough up, and they have a dough ball. She pulled that drawer of flour out, and I bet that was 10 pounds of flour in there. And she just made her little circle in that whole drawer, poured the milk right in that drawer, and flipped around there a time or two. Had a beautiful ball of dough, took it out, put it on the table, rolled it out, and cut out biscuits. And I thought, she poured the milk right in that drawer of flour. Well, I would have had that like a mud pie. It would have been, <laughs> there would have been no flour. It would have been all soupy milk and flour. So. Her was not a speck. It wasn't a speck. It was not. You couldn't even tell. And I remember her, she pulled up a straight chair, one of the old ladder backs, wooden chairs. And pulled that drawer out, had her milk set in there. She made her little hole in there, poured that milk in there, rolled it around a time or two like this, very quick. Picked that up, had a dough ball in her hand, closed that drawer up, went over. We had biscuits in no time. It was amazing. It's just stuff like that you remember. But uh, my whole life, I never remember. <clears throat> Granny or mom, they would some, but not always. You didn't sit down a lot, did you? I never have sat down. Um, I'm talking about the whole meal. The whole, the whole meal. Uh, Mama sits down now. She has when, well, probably for the past 10 or 15 years, you've sat more. I've sat more lately. Though. Yeah, but they never liked. They never liked. Um... And by the light, I mean sit down. My granny used to say that to me, oh, probably 25, 30 times a day. I wish you'd light somewhere. Yes, ma'am. I'd light. Then 30 seconds, I'd be unlit. And I'd run around. And uh, I wish you'd light somewhere. Mm -hmm. I've heard that my whole life. Mama, get over here on your little spot. And don't try to hog up the whole counter. Right here's your little circle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mama sits over there usually. That's the reason I have to move my stool every time. I know. And we don't usually sit this close to the table. Give me a bow room when I eat. Give me a bow room. Move over. Mm -hmm. Mama, let's dip us up some. Let them see what we got. Too much of that. I'm going to take the first piece of meatloaf because... The second one will be hotter. Oh, you're sweet. And I know you like yours a little hotter, and I don't care. Because I will eat it cold in the refrigerator some nights. Oh, yeah, that one's steaming even a little bit, Mama. Yeah. You want a half paste? Let's just be realistic yeah. here. Let's just be realistic, Mama. We know what you're going to do. Let's see. Well, I put parsley flakes in it if you see a little green spit. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought of Now that. she tells us there could be green in it. I don't want you concerned over a few green specks. <laughs> <laughs> now we hear about the green. Oh, look at them butter peas just to steam it, Mama. 
Mm-hmm. <coughs> I got the cows. That's cute. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know why. Mama will dip up mine if it's convenient. But most of the time, somebody asks me, so why do you always dip Mama's food? I guess just so she don't have to. There's no real reason. Some of y'all ask questions sometimes, and I'm like, you know, I don't know. They'll ask a question. I'm like, I don't know why we do that. You know, it's funny. When yeah. you start doing stuff like this, you see a lot of stuff, and you don't know why you do certain things. And I'll watch the video sometimes, and I'll say, did I say that? Mama said, well, yeah, you said that. <laughs> So do I say that? Well, yeah. You want more? Mm -mm. Oh. How about Creole? Oh, yeah. I'll take a little bit more of that on my meat. Look. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Dropping it, ain't you? Yeah, I dropped it right in the pot. Did you see that? Mm-hmm. That's good. Thank you. Mama, some ask the other night why I always do the blessing, and you don't never. How did you do it? Have you ever done the blessing of the meal? No. You're your daddy. I don't know why. Is that a southern thing that the men no, used to do the blessing? No, I just never have. I remember being a kid, my uncle's done it or my dad done it or... Uh, I don't ever remember Granny doing it either. Mm -mm. Is it just a southern thing? Does it might be in our household or something. <laughs> just what it's always been. I hadn't, even, I hadn't even thought about that. Tell them what said. your daddy said when he was little, what Granny said he... Uh, well, let's, I'll bless it, and then you can eat, because I want you to eat hot. <laughs> Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful meal. We thank you for these precious hands that prepared it, dear Lord. And we just pray for the nourishment of our bodies, dear Lord, and just be with us, watch over and lead and guide and direct, dear Lord. And dear Lord, be with all those families and all those rescuers that are out trying to help the folks of, of Kentucky. And dear Lord, we just pray that your hand will be upon them and a hedge of protection about them. And dear Lord, just be with each and every prayer request that's here tonight, those spoken and unspoken. In your name we pray, amen. So, Granny, back in the day around here, I don't know where you all, where you're from, but every church didn't have a pastor. So a lot of times you'd have one preacher that would do a circuit, a circuit riding preacher, they call them. And um, that preacher may come from a great deal of distance away, and they would have to be taken to somebody's house and fed. So Granny said that it was her turn to take the preacher home, uh, her and Papa and, and Dad. So um, she said, Dad started as soon as I got home. I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. And she said, you wait and behave. And so she said, you go in there and set that table. And you sit there and you be good until I get in there. So she did. And um, so they all sat down to eat. And Granny turned to the preacher and said, uh, would you like to bless the meal for us? And uh, Dad said, I will. And he said, well, let this young man here bless the meal. So, so Granny said that they bowed their heads and said, Dad said, thank you, Lord, for all this meal. Help me eat every bite of day, man. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Lord, for all this meal. Help me eat every bite of day, man. He didn't want that preacher to be blessed the meal. He wanted her to eat. And uh, Granny said, that embarrassed her to death. And so that preacher just laughed and said, I think that boy's hungry. And Granny said, he ain't that hungry. <laughs> I bet he got I bet he got in big trouble when the preacher left. But uh, that was Dad's way of getting on. How, how was he? He was just young, was she said. Six or seven? No, I can't so, you got to be careful, folks. Uh, them kids. Ooh, kids say the darndest things, don't they? All right, let's try this meatloaf and this Creole. You're doing a good job on the Creo. It's good. Well, that meatloaf looks delicious too, Mom. It's holding together this perfect. Look at that. Perfect bite of meatloaf. Mmm. It's delicious as always. Mama makes meatloaf several, several ways. And I'm not a meatloaf maker. I don't do good on them. You do real good, Mama. Yeah. Um, Mama fries it sometimes. We love fried meatloaf. There's videos in case you're wondering. Uh, sometimes she makes it in muffin tins and it's got a crust your um, edge all the way around. 
Um, she makes it in loaf pans. She's got even a couple of ingredient changes you do on them too, don't you, Mama? Sometimes I use the salsa in it. That's a that's a good one. And uh, I thought about the meatloaf pans today, and I thought, you know, it's harder to wash up. You mean muffin tins? I mean, yeah, muffin tins. I was going to put it in that, and I thought, I ain't going to do that. I'm just going to put it in a loaf pan today and get one pan to wash, instead of washing all them muffin rings and stuff. Yeah. Some of you out there may be new wives or new husbands, and you're having to cook, and you think, I'd make a meatloaf, but I'm afraid of it. I mess it up. This is a fail proof meatloaf. Get you two pounds of ground chuck, put it in a bowl. Take you about a half a tube of saltine crackers, crumble them up, put them in there with it, put one raw egg. And then add your favorite mild salsa. Unless you want hot meatloaf, then you can add the hot salsa. The salsa has got the tomatoes, it's got the onions, it's got peppers, it's got every other ingredient you would need and for a meal. And the spices. It's very, very good. I don't care for green peppers in my meatloaf, but the thing I found different about the salsa meatloaf is the peppers have already been cooked in the salsa, or before they put it in the salsa, and when you put it in the meatloaf, it don't overtake the meatloaf. But it makes a delicious meatloaf. You hardly ever would have a bad one unless you just burn it. But uh, the flavor is phenomenal. It's good in the moment. Yeah. Half a tube of saltine crackers crumbled up. And I'll one raw eat egg. it with the salsa sometimes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> one raw egg and your favorite medium hot salsa. Pour it in there. Medium. I hope just the, the regular jar. Pour it in there for two pounds of meat. I'm talking the, the eight ounce jar, the packed. Pour it in there. No, it's not a pie. It's just eight ounces. Oh, it's eight ounces. Mm -hmm. not, not the pie. That's what I meant to say. The eight ounce jar, not the pie. And uh, pour eight ounce jar in your bowl. Mix all that up. Put it in a muffin tin or put it in a loaf pan. Spray it good. Cook it for... If you put it... It depends on what you cook it. If you cook it in a muffin pan, you can get by with 30 minutes. If you cook, cook it in a loaf pan, you better give it 45 to 50 Depending on your oven. Yeah. Um, if you use like the Macro Pro Grill, you can do it in 20. Um, all that's good stuff. Mama, you're done. You did good. Yeah. You want your other half of meatloaf? No, not right now. Thank you. It's really not half. I gave you more than half that time. I seen that. I don't think I want it now. I've still got a pretty good sized piece of this left. Okay, Mama. <clears throat> All right, folks, we're going to go. We've enjoyed chatting with you. Uh, Mom and Dad had the meatloaf made in the Creole. We made it early. And uh, it was a quick, simple supper tonight, but it's a good supper. We, Mom will say, You've shot a, we've shot a meatloaf. Are you... It's been awful how many times we've shot a meatloaf. That's just what we're eating, folks. You know, we like to cook and we enjoy being here, but sometimes y'all just have to bear with us because we're just doing us. And um, we're just... It, we just want you all with us to do it. So uh, you'll have a blessed night. Enjoy yourself. Say a little prayer tonight for all those folks suffering out there. And have a blessed day tomorrow. Uh, enjoy yourselves. It looks like it's going to rain here again. Yeah. Uh, we've had a little flood in here, but I'm not even complaining because ours came up. A normal flood. Uh, a little bit of river rising, and then it went right back down. Wasn't any big deal. Uh, a, a normal flood... Is a whole lot different than a flash flood. Uh, there's a little bit more preparation, a little bit more time. You can see that river rising. These folks didn't have any preparation time because it was in the middle of the night and it was a flash flood. So uh, just you know, remember all them. You got anything else, Mama? Mm -mm. No. Okay. All right, folks. We're going to go. Y'all have a blessed night and we'll see you, Lord willing, tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what we'll be doing tomorrow. Uh, we may do quick and easy tomorrow. Who knows? We may do tomato sandwiches tomorrow. That's right. I love a good tomato sandwich. All right, folks. You'll have enjoy them while we can. That's what I was thinking. I've not had 
about a week since I've had just a tomato sandwich. Y'all have a blessed night, and we will see you. Say good night, Mama. Good night, Mama, and God bless you all. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.